If Jaws and Piranha 3D had a kid, it, it'd kind of be like this movie. A little bit. Shark Knight 3D. If you have seen the trailer to this movie or even seen the poster or heard the title, you know exactly what this movie's about. It's about sharks that eat people. Namely, a bunch of college students who went out to a cabin to have a good time on the weekend. I was watching this movie and I was like, what happened to the day when people took the shark movies seriously? You know, like in Jaws, when 30-year-olds actually played 30-year-olds, not college students. Now everything exists for the sake of getting eaten by a shark. I didn't dislike Shark Knight 3D as much as I disliked Piranha 3D. They're both implausible, impractical movies that exist for the sake of you know, watching people get shredded. It's almost like Shark Knight 3D took itself a little more seriously for the sake of not relying on porn stars and, you know, floating dicks that get eaten. I gotta give the movie that. And there were a couple of other variables. They didn't just have to worry about sharks. There were other, you know, there were a couple of lunatics in the movie too. But for the most part, it, it's sharks. That's what we came to see. We didn't come to see, like, weird hillbillies. It should be called Shark Knight and Hillbillies in 3D. Now, as for the 3D in the movie, there are actually two aspects of 3D. The scenes that are not underwater in which the 3D looks like, you know, it looks pretty good. It looks like a 3D movie. But then the movie goes from 3D above the water to 3D below the water and below the water the depth of field is so much more sharp that it makes your eyes just go crossed immediately and you're like ah oh, dude my eyes need to adjust what did you do like you know those 3d pictures from 1995 imagine taking those and putting it like right up to your face your eyes go like that crossed granted the 3d is more pronounced and it looks cooler if you can get past the pain in your eyes but you know how it's really scary when you don't see the shark you just see a person that gets sucked under the water and they die like in jaws it worked in a movie like this where it just relies on gore you might as well just show the shark just shred someone in half but it doesn't always do that does it a couple times at the end of the movie but for the most part you see the person gets sucked underwater and they're struggling with something that's not there i would have rather have seen the shark maybe i'm a morbid bastard i don't know so it's almost like this movie was confused it wanted to take itself seriously in some parts and it didn't in other scenes i mean the title itself shark knight 3d you don't take that movie seriously so just go nuts with it but just cut back on the porn stars and floating dicks like piranha 3d and you'll be fine but as you'd expect it's a good time if you're drunk. Yeah, no, it's a party with sharks. There's not really another kind of rating you can give this movie. Can you imagine that if the movie's like a good time, no alcohol required? That would blow your mind. It'd blow my mind. All I know is there was this hillbilly dude in there. Dude, freaked me out more than the sharks did. I was like, that's the real problem right there. Take care of that guy. Shoot a harpoon through his neck. He was just... So what's your favorite water-based shark slash creature slash anything in the water that's out to eat people kind of movie? Comment below, let me know. And as always, and this never changes, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.